federal agents are combing through dozens of boxes removed from the office of a prominent Florida eye doctor. And now scrutiny is falling on a top ranking Democratic senator. NBC's justice correspondent Pete Williams has the story. Pete, good morning to you. Savannah, good morning. Federal officials are declining to say exactly what's behind this search, but the doctor is well known in South Florida. He's been an active political contributor and a friend of Senator Robert Menendez, who's the subject of an ethics complaint. In Florida, federal agents hauled away boxes of material Tuesday night and Wednesday from the office of Solomon Melgan, a West Palm Beach eye doctor. He and members of his family are big political contributors. Records show they've given more than $33,000 in the past 15 years to U.S. Senator Robert Menendez. This uh, hearing of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee... The New Jersey Democrat who just took over as chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee. Menendez and Milgan appeared last year at a gala for Voxy, a Hispanic media organization chaired by Milgan. The Senate Ethics Committee has received a complaint from a New Jersey Republican official who claims that Menendez got rides on Milgan's private plane to a resort in the Dominican Republic and elsewhere without disclosing them. Senator Menendez had accepted these flights. Uh, well, let's see, there was a flight to the Dominican Republic, there was a flight to Puerto Rico, a flight to Washington, etc., uh, from uh, this doctor down in Florida on his private jet, which uh, he had failed to report. In a statement, Senator Menendez called Melgan a friend and political supporter for many years and said he took three trips on that plane, but paid for and reported them properly. But his chief of staff tells NBC News that Senator Menendez wrote a check just a few weeks ago, two months after the ethics complaint was made, to reimburse Dr. Melgan $58,000 for two trips back in 2010. The senator's statement also refers to a series of claims made on conservative websites saying that he met with prostitutes while in the Dominican Republic. Those allegations, the Menendez statement says, are manufactured, politically motivated, and false. They're based on a series of anonymous emails that first surfaced last April, sent to a political watchdog group in Washington called Crew. But a Crew official says when the tipster repeatedly declined to talk on the phone or agree to a meeting, the group turned the messages over to the FBI. It seems that he has no real interest in uh, coming forward and making sure this matter can be investigated as a law enforcement issue. It seems that he's much more interested in seeing it brought to light as a big scandal. As for the search in Florida, federal officials say agents from the Department of Health and Human Services were involved, which suggests they may have been looking into allegations of health care fraud. Savannah? All right, Pete Williams in Washington, thank you.